Shalom and welcome to Two Mitzvah Torah. This shir is entitled The Laws of Ben Sora Mora, the Rebellious Son. Is that old school? Or does that apply today? To Chinuch and Tov Shin Ayin Tet, 2018-2019. So we're familiar with the rebellious son, harsh punishment, the young man steals from his parents to have meat and to have wine. At 13 years old, and goes through the process, he's killed. The Rambam brings us down to Hilchom Mamrim, the last chapter of Hilchom Mamrim, in the book of Shoftim. And there's a debate in the Gemara, is this theoretical, is it practical, did this ever happen, could this happen? And there's really Halachal said that a Sanhedrin would carry out or not. But I think sometimes we miss the point. Because maybe the details can never really happen and match up. And maybe the case never was carried out, never would be carried out. But to me, there's one message that screams out. So while the details may or may not be lamase practical, the message is very strong. There's a lot of messages, but there's one that I want to point out to, and that's called accountability. Which I think too often in our generation, it falls by the wayside. A young man, a young woman, there must be accountability when we raise these children. There could be a debate about specific methods, specific methods about Ben Sora Mora, specific methods whether hitting. Countries and cities used to allow hitting in the school system. That was stopped. Uh, whether hitting is allowed in the Masora 2018 or not is a fantastic question. The Shulchan Aruch and Mishlei certainly talk about sparing the rod, and, and it seems to indicate that hitting might be all right, but it seems most schools around the world, parents hitting is not acceptable, that specific uh, means. But the general idea of accountability, God forbid to throw accountability out w together with the specific means that may no, may no longer be in fashion for better or worse. Now what does accountability mean? That a young man, 13, 11, 9, 8, whatever the case may be, the young man has to know. He does something wrong, there are consequences. And he does something right, there's consequences, natural consequences, and there's other kinds of consequences. And all this comes down to one word in English, accountability, and one word in Hebrew, ikviyut. And to go ahead and think, well, if, I, if he goes ahead and he acts out, he's not going to be able to go to, with the family on the outing. Or he's going to have to stay late in school. He'll have detention and this and that. Those things are healthy. That teaches responsibility. So while the specific means may be debatable, missing recess, not missing recess. The kid needs his recess, otherwise he's going to be crazy the rest of the day. Detention and how long and what age, we can argue over all those details. But there must be accountability. And yes, in today's generation, we need so much love and affection and positivity. And the Gemara and Sota already said 2,000 years ago that you mean, that you mean the stronger hand it should be the loving one, and the smaller the one that punishes should certainly be a lesser percentage of one's china. That was then, and that's certainly now. But there has to be consequences and accountability, and otherwise, the child is, is, is without boundaries. And he himself senses there's something not right. So therefore, it's so important to separate between specific means and ge different generations may or may not be acceptable, which itself needs to be analyzed. But the overall picture that a kid knows, this is what I'm accountable for, this is what I'm responsible for, this is what they're expecting of me, that has to be clear and unwavering. Hashem should give us all siyat and help in this unbelievable task of raising our next generation, our grandchildren, whoever children that every children that we may be in contact with. Shall